All right, here we're going to create our view objects for our Lotto application. So go ahead and make sure you have the Files tab selected and over here and select the nib file, main menu.xib. That should be the XML version of the nib file. Which will, So when that's selected, it'll bring up Interface Builder, which is our editor for our view components. So you can see that this editor on the left here, I've got a panel which I can I can make go away or come back that shows me sort of a hierarchical view of all the elements in my nib file. And over here I have sort of a visual representation of the things that are in my nib file. So I'm going to select the main window and we're going to start dropping some buttons and some labels and various components we need for our application. So when I'm going to go over here to the inspector and if you go under the libraries and you'll, you'll find there's a whole list of different User components that we user interface components that we can use, and I'm going to I'm going to use a bevel button, and this is I'm going to use this for my button for uh, my six buttons. So I'm going to I mean I can notice I can resize them to whatever size I want. So I'm going to go ahead and and go ahead and put a little bit of text on this so I can I can set the size I want. So obviously that text is too small. So over in in the attributes inspector, so if I select the attributes tab under the inspector you can see down here I can select the font and the font is already centered so I'm going to go ahead and I don't know, maybe change this to 35 and see what that looks like that looks good so if I go under the size inspector here so I select the size tab so I can select the width I can actually adjust the you know the size of, of my object that way or I can just drag and drag the corners of the object over here. So anyway, so there's kind of my, my prototype button I can use. Maybe I'll make it a tad smaller. So now that i got kind of the button I like, I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of it. So I'm going to say edit, copy, edit, paste, and go ahead and make a copy of that. And notice the blue guidelines. It's a good idea to follow those blue guidelines. It sort of gives you a suggestion and allows you to kind of snap into place your components. So now I've got two two of these. I'm going to go ahead and and make. So I got six of these guys. So here we go. Make sure I've got room on the screen here for them. There we go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just change the titles for now. Later, programmatically, I'm going to set these. But for now, so I just kind of keep them straight. I'm going to give them the titles from 0 to 4. So we'll never have a, a more than a two-digit lottery value. So so anyway, so there are my, my six buttons. That's basically quite right. There you go. So all right. So now I'm going to go ahead and down here and grab a label. I'm going to slap a label on there and I'm going to go ahead and change it to lucky lotto picker and so there's going to be my label and I'm going to go over here in the attributes inspector and I'm going to change let's see I want to change it from scroll to wrap so that'll allow me to change the size of the window both vertically and horizontally so I'm going to go ahead and with that selected, I'm going to go ahead and change its size as well. I'm going to go ahead and change its size to, let's say, I don't know, 40. Now, of course, I need to resize things so you can see it. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that text is centered. Resize the handles on things here. Looks about right. And I'm going to center it on there. There we go. Looks good. I'm going to move my buttons. So they look about where I want them. There we go. All right. So now we've got a label and six buttons. So I'm going to need um, a radio button. So I'm going to go down and find myself uh, a radio group. So there we go. We need the radio buttons. So notice in the inspector, my radio buttons are actually, if you actually look under the identity inspector, you can see that these buttons and labels are actually stored in a matrix of objects. Um, and right now that matrix, you can see under the attributes inspector, has 
two rows and one column. I actually want them to be side by side. So I'm going to do one, one row, one row, and, and two columns. Right? And so our max, I'm going to change the, the first title to 49, and the second title to 56. Now I could probably even change the fonts. No, I can actually select these. Um, Oh, you can see I can select these values over in here as well. Um, I can, so anyway, I want to up, up the size of that. And maybe, so that's, that's now about, about a 20 point font. Change this to about, change this to a 20 point font too. All right. And then what I'm going to do, with that, with that radio box selected, I'm going to go up to the editor, and I'm going to say embed in a box. So I'm going to embed that into a box, and that puts a nice little box. And I'm going to change the, the title of the box to be max value. I'd probably like to up that font a little bit, too. So I'm going to make that font. That. So then I can put that there, and then I'm just going to make one more button. In fact, uh, maybe I'll go choose a different size of button. I'll just choose another double button and, and plop that in there. And this is going to be my, my pick button. So I'm going to go ahead and put that selected. Um, I'm going to set the title to be pick. Change it, make it, give it a nice big font, and I'm going to go ahead and arrange that like I like. Size this just a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to sort of arrange everything into the window. Yeah, maybe a little bigger at first. Oh, that would be Fortunately, that resize things. I got to fiddle with this a little bit to get what I want. And so let's, oops, kind of arrange things like, like I want them. Kind of center things here. Yeah, it brings up a nice big line. I get things like I want. The window. Oops. Uh, that's because this contact hu hugging variety needs to be oh, it's a lot higher, so that doesn't do that. So when I move the window, I'm going to change this to. I don't like it. I want should. Okay, that looks a little weird. I'm going to drag my button down here. There we go. So, and then what I'm going to go, so there I've got my UI, and I'm going to go ahead and choose the, the window here, and go to the inspector, and I'm going to unclick resize, and unclick close. You can use texture. That looks kind of nice. Right. So let me go ahead and save that. And there we have kind of all our stock components, at least initially. And I'm going to go to the editor and you can actually simulate this running and, and see that, yeah, lo and behold, I can click and do things. Of course, it doesn't do anything yet. We'll go ahead and start with that for our interface. And so the next step will be to create our controller and hook it up to our Lucky Lotto picker. So we'll stop there.